Welcome to a spoken tutorial on Introduction to K3B. In this tutorial, you will learn about the K3B interface and various toolbars. You will also learn how to download and install K3B on the Ubuntu Linux operating system and burn a sample file using K3B. What is K3B? K3B is a CD DVD burning software. It can perform simple tasks like burning a CD to complex tasks such as burning eMovic CDs. It can create a data, an audio or a video CD DVD. K3B supports all data formats such as .html, .txt and so on. It supports all audio and video formats such as MP3, MPEG and so on. For more information about K3B, please visit www.k3b.org. Here we are using K3B 2.0.2 on Ubuntu Linux 12.04. You need to ensure that you have inserted a CD or a DVD into the drive for this tutorial. If you do not have K3B installed, you can do so by using Ubuntu Software Center. For details on Ubuntu Software Center, please refer to the Spoken Tutorial website. For the purpose of this tutorial, we have created a folder called My K3B CD on the desktop. We have also saved four writer, one impress and two calc files in this folder. While practicing, you can use any folder or file of your choice. Now let's open K3B. First, click Dash Home, which is the round button on the top left corner of your computer desktop. The search box appears. Now, type K3B. The K3B icon appears. Click on it to open the application. The K3B window opens. Let us familiarize ourselves with the K3B interface. The K3B interface has a main menu with various options. Shortcut icons are available below the main menu, such as New Project, Open, Save, Format and Filter. K3B is divided into two main panels the top and the bottom panels. The top panel is also divided into two panels. The left panel displays the main folders in your computer and the right panel displays the corresponding subfolders. The bottom panel displays shortcut icons for the most common processes used in K3B. You can add shortcut icons of the processes that you commonly use to this panel. Let's add a shortcut icon to create a new video CD project. Place the cursor on the bottom panel. Right click for the context menu. Click New Video CD Project. The shortcut icon for New Video CD Project appears on the panel. Now let's burn a data CD. In the bottom pane, double click on New Data Project. Alternately, go to New Project and click on the drop down list. Select New Data Project. From the left panel, select Home and Desktop. Now select the My K3B CD folder. It opens up all the files and folders on the top right panel. Let us select the data file to be burnt. Let's choose the file Writer4 from this folder. Drag and drop the file Writer4 to the bottom panel. Ensure that you have inserted a CD or a DVD into the drive before proceeding further. Click Burn. Again, click Burn. A window appears with three different tabs. Let us keep the default settings. So click Default Setting. 
Now we can see the burning status and the progress status. Once burning completes, CD ejects automatically. Isn't it simple? This brings us to the end of this tutorial on K3B. In this tutorial, we learned about the K3B interface and its toolbars. We also learned how to download and install K3B, use various features in K3B, burn a file onto a CD. Here is an assignment for you. Burn an audio file onto a CD. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The Spoken Tutorial team conducts workshops using Spoken Tutorials. Give certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher Project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT MHRD Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash nmeict intro. This tutorial has been contributed by Desi Crew Solutions Private Limited. Thanks for joining.